Irish. <laughs> this is pristine lighting. Get my hair on. I need to change that to a white light. I I'm not white light. Because I went um, to one of my friends. Clicked up is live now. Eric. I hate the like generic lighting that they put in houses. I can get so dim. Like here, we have volume. We had to reset it. We had to reset. All right, we're on, boys. Let's get in there. Come on, girls. Because it's girls. All right, guys. Right. Right. But listen, 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 hold on, hold on. I just need to make this announcement. So, the we're, Ooh. I'm officially calling off, men bonerheads when they say stupid things. Okay. All that's right. your shit. So that's just. That's your shit. That's our shit. You, okay, but you're going to have to remember that it's going to be a thing. It is a thing because I've already called like three people bonerheads in the past like two weeks. So okay. it's, All right. it's, it's a thing. thing. Yeah. All right, we're going to go. Let's go. Let's go. Are we live? We are live one more time. This time you can hear us. This is <laughs> now you can hear now you can hear us. You are chilling with the best. This is clicked up. Yes. The podcast man. live from the, the laundry room. From the laundry Ooh. room. Ah, Damon's house. Damon's house. Okay. Henny. 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 Oh my bad. Henny. I didn't get your government. Immediately first. <laughs> first. First. His name is David Thomas. Da- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Agree. Agree. <laughs> All right. We're going to go in a circle. We're going to introduce you to the amazing people that are part of this amazing podcast. You want to keep up with us, man, because we're about to keep some some, some weird company coming in the future. Yeah. But you're going to get to know us first, man. First of all, it's me, your boy, Jive English, been fire, fishing out, man, just doing the thing, man. Um, psh, loving every day of life, man. We're having a good time. To my left is... My foot. How are you? Hey, girl. She goes, <laughs> Listen, the further we go along, they're going to see my person. All right, all right, all right, all right. And then... Uh, hey, guys. It's me, Rachel, a.k.a. The Mix Maker. Burr, 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 burr. Tell them about the drinks that I make these hear. drinks. They're called Watermelon Rosé Spritzers, inspired by Snoop D-O-double-G. With the Cali Rosé. Rosé. Yeah, not bad. $12, guys, for the bottle. And these are fine. Well, let me not say it. You guys can tell them how great they are. Oh, I shouldn't toot my own horn. Refreshing. Refreshing. Hey, yeah. Yes. Perfect hey, yeah. for the beach. Perfect for something light. If, you, you know, if you're going to be with the kids all day, but you don't want to get wasted, Summer then time this time. is good because it's it's going to, you know, it's going to take a minute for you to get there. So you yeah, can be yeah, responsible. Spike refreshers. Yeah. Spike refreshers. Spike, refresher. Spike, yes. Spike Spike refreshers. Fresca. I don't yes. know if I should have like advertised to. Hey, we're gonna at one point they're gonna be paying us to do it. And that's true. That's what we're trying to do. That's the goal. Next we have It's your boy over here, Henny, I G Henny Some Beats. Yo. Yeah. The owner of this scene we got going on. Yeah. The owner of House Henny. House <laughs> the House Henny. of Henny. Yes. Yeah, Henny. I like that. You know, it's but, funny, it's not I just wanna do this, I wanna get this out of the way. His name is Henny, but his actual Name is Hennessy. Yeah. Hennessy. An Asian Can we say Hispanic nigga on dude. Yes, on oh, no, it's our camera shit. Yeah. That's it. Say what we intend to say. His actual name is Hennessy. That's That's some nigga shit. It is. Yeah, it is. That is <laughs> He was born in East LA, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, I damn. He's Hispanic and Asian at the same time. Same damn, damn time. time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone taking a sip. You hear that? Yeah. You hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That was satisfying, wasn't it? <laughs> With a little snap. Yeah, you got it. Have y'all ever met anyone that, like, actually does that, like, naturally? Yes, my mom. Every single time? Yes, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Literally my mom. And to the point where she will have, like, my nieces and nephews, the babies, mm-hmm. they will do that because they're mimicking her. Oh, so, right. like, they will drink their drink and be like, and I'm like, <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. Again, you guys did not know this, but now you get to know this. I don't know what camera I'm looking at. I don't know how to be camera, you know. I think this This me? me? This mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. We are being brought to you by Tombstone Productions in the building, man. We are just, like, blessed to have these kids, man, working with us, making it do what it do. Clapping us for a for the real one. Yeah. Shameless plug this Saturday. Yes. 
this Saturday. Mm -hmm. This we, Saturday. It's about to get <laughs> lit because Clicked Up is about to be bringing you Swanye Open Mic mm -hmm. and Poetry Slam. Mm -hmm. Mix Make is going to be in, in the cut, you know what I'm saying, serving it up. Maya is going to be over there live painting drunk. We're gonna try to get her drunk and see what happens. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try to get. We're gonna combine these two forces and see what happens. Creative juice. Speaking of, if anybody else wants some more wine, this Dude, is not. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a little. This is this is um just regular barefoot guys. Sorry. Barefoot he he just down. told us to to not hit the table, and I've done it three times since we started. Immediately, like like the first. We're gonna have to write you up. Yeah. Sorry. We're gonna. I'm gonna take you to HR. Oh. So <laughs> that's my oh, coworker because he, the one we were talking about with the little voice thing, mm -hmm. he'd be like, "Oh, I'll suspend your ass." I'm just like, "Who are you? <laughs> like, how? Hey, you gonna suspend who? Somebody needs to drink that one too, Jive. I feel like you should because it's closest to you. I mean, want me to drink too? I'll drink too. Mm -hmm. Probably. This is gonna be a spicy um, live rehearsal. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, this is rehearsal. This good. is rehearsal. Well, that's good because. You know, oh, I like that we're shooting shit, but um, mm -hmm. going into some sort of structure that Keegan was talking about earlier. Yes. Can talk about that, or is that too... No, we're going to go, because we're about to go right into it. We're about to yeah. go into our first section of the day. We're going to hit some current yeah. events. <clears throat> yes, whatever current events. I also feel like Maya should lead the um, romance, relationship, sex section, because... That'll be coming up next. Yes. yes. So I didn't realize she's so good. I was not prepared. Listen, that's why I was like, no, that's no, why no. I asked her, do you want some more wine? Right. I feel like that no, creepy no, guy no. that's trying to get you lit. Like yeah, don't shots. mind the extra bubbles. <laughs> yeah, no. I, that ain't that good. <laughs> that ain't that good. That's just facts. Yeah, that ain't that good. Yeah, that ain't that good. <laughs> don't, don't worry about Damn. that. <laughs> Worry, you should worry. <laughs> Immediately worry when somebody tells you. When someone says, don't, exactly. When someone says, don't worry. Star worry. Don't yes. look. Yes. That means look. <laughs> we got you. We fine. Don't worry. It's fine. So current events going on. Yeah. Your yeah. Warriors just won the um, NBA Finals. He said, boo. boo. Can we see? Can me and Maya rate how good they jump and how well they throw the ball in the hoop? Cause that's as far as I know about sports is how good. But it the was. way you squinted made it gave it a sexual connotation. I don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. Let's slow it down. Okay. And talk about you know that's the that, way that's what they we need. jump. The way they jump and throw the ball. Cause like what else are we? What counting points? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I want to see them do some shit. Like I want to see you know slow mo from when they dunk and somebody's balls is in someone else's face that's what i let's rate those so just something slightly homoerotic like i mean it could be whatever, you know? it could be whatever i'm not it's it, it's it's whatever right uh, yeah okay. so y'all can rate whatever you're doing we'll be over here right in a whole do. different scale <laughs> <laughs> I just have some clips or something so i can actually see what i'm reading Maybe gonna, so we can engage in the sports conversation <laughs> right because that's what we're gonna have next All time. I know is Steph Curry got a haircut and I hadn't seen that in a minute. He had a little fade. He yeah. had like a fade. It was slick. Normally yeah, he that's I don't the only thing I noticed. He had a fade, like he was trying to like I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to do, summon the powers of the hood or something. I don't know. <laughs> but he won. So that it worked. It worked out. It worked out for him. I was thinking about that elephant that stomped that lady, and everyone was like, All the black people are supporting uh the elephant. Yes! Everyone's like that elephant. Don't forget, right. she was a dis she did elephant, which I do agree. Like, or like, maybe somebody like her that looked like her, or you know. I just don't understand why there are a certain group of people <clears throat> that like to <laughs> fuck with wild animals and then yeah. get upset when wild animals do <laughs> wild animal shit, and then be like, "We gotta kill them." And they, they gotta yeah. die. In like, case the other ones get the idea, they could do it too. Listen, at our job, we call that natural environment, natural, natural environment, not natural learning. I don't know. Basically, learning the consequences in the natural environment, right. whatever the fuck that's called. You right. don't fuck with a wild animal, and that shit comes and stomps you to death. 
That's what happened. Natural learning environment is what just happened. Like you ever seen Survival that of the fittest. Like from a long time ago where the dude put those pheromones on and went and fucked with like a deer. Oh. It got like E Honda yeah, on the hand slap like, like, <laughs> like it was just like just attacking him. Yeah. And it was just like, but why would you go put on battle pheromones? Yeah. And then go so, fuck with a wild animal. Like You're just You know what I mean? Before? Yeah, like, I feel like unless you're related to, um, dang, I forgot his name. He died. Um, Stingray. Steve Irwin. Yes. Steve Irwin. Is it that was his name? Steve, Steve Irwin. Irwin. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I feel like I was wrong. I feel like unless you're related to them, don't fuck with wild shit. Even if you're related to him, see what he did. Like, I mean, I but like that's if you don't have though. training. You yeah, like if you don't have okay. training for none of that, don't. How, how do you train for? You know what I mean? Like the un, like you ever see the people like who who mess with snakes? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like there are people in Florida. They made a TV show off of this. I forgot what it's called, and they it's coming out. And they're basically it's a show about these weird dudes running around trying to catch snakes in Florida mm-hmm. to like reduce the snake population. So an average person can take up snake catching. To like, <laughs> I mean, does that even make sense to you? Like, kind of. I mean, if you're selling the snake skin, like, would you, Rachel? Just if I knew how to catch a fucking snake, but that's not what it is. And I had fun doing <laughs> it. Hold on, that's another thing. These motherfuckers enjoyed doing that shit. I promise you, they probably enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. So it was probably just a group of wild ass. The other thing too is like, my family is super country, on both sides, mm. and so like that's not you know. Um, whatever, but yeah, I guess. I, I mean, we need people in this world like that, you know. Do we? But like, I I'm not catching no fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna call them and be like, "Yo, come get this fucking." Snake. You ever seen that that old white guy? I think he's in Louisiana, and like, he's super by you, like swamp people. But he goes and catches like random ass shit out of people's yards, and it could be a gator, a fucking possum, a damn chimp like this man will catch anything have you seen it no it, and he's like on camera he looks like he's probably about this big and i don't know what he says but it sounds like really that's how it sounds <laughs> and, and nobody knows what he's saying but everyone's like yeah dude whatever and he will be like oh i got it they're like Ooh. all right you got it and he catches the shit with his hands literally no tool he might have a trash bag I and you know. catching a fucking gator with a trash You're not bag? Catching no chimpanzee with no hands. You ever seen? He will. I saw a chimpanzee rip the skull off, like the skull meat. Like I ain't never. And there was like a toupee sitting beside the dude. <laughs> it was like there. That's terrible. And I was just like, I think his name is Turtle Man. And I just saw it, and I was just like, and he did. It did, it wasn't like the right whatever it was, the wild primate thing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like it had to like grip and like force it it just snatched it off like it was nothing and just and just mm-hmm. and dropped it it wasn't like it kept it it was just like yeah, they- yeah I, <laughs> I, um when we went to the jacksonville zoo and we watched the whatever species of monkey it was they were it was a little scary because they seemed like they were communicating mm-hmm. and you could see that they had a society a structure a hierarchy like mm-hmm just you knew who was the boss just mm-hmm. based on if he walked too close to a group of monkeys that was like bullshit and they would scatter and be like ah get the fuck away like we doing too much he would even he even we watched him for a while he even like yelled at these monkeys that were fighting he was like ah whatever he did and they looked at him and acknowledged him kept on fighting and then saw that he was getting closer and they ran away and then he chased one of them particularly this is the same one he's been chasing so i guess he's been telling this nigga all day you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck with people you know you, you were out here just starting shit just the last one yeah so he like hemmed him up and slapped him up like mm-hmm. that was that was yeah and a little scary you know but i was like but yeah hold on this is the guy here his name is turtle man <clears throat> he looked like like literally how he talks <laughs> yeah. We're gonna bring this up and we're gonna go to YouTube. We're gonna give you all the clips. You're yeah, see all the juice. Literally, cause he's he's super funny. Like he get he's right up in there. I'm amazed. Recently, I've seen a video of 
you know, like they take videos of them going to the zoos and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and take pictures or whatever next to the animals. I seen a video of like this monkey just shooting birdies. And I'm just like, how the fuck did you learn that shit? Oh, niggas. <laughs> no, but I feel like yeah. be, you know, racist. And you know, but I feel like it's it's the other people. Oh yeah, no, yeah. But you know, monkeys too, like. Um, Damn, I just forgot what the fuck I was going to say monkeys. <laughs> that, that brain <laughs> fart was brought to you by <laughs> Kelly Rose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, what the fuck? What was that about? Snoop Dogg in the video. Dang. Whatever. Fucking monkeys. Right. I but I also know. think um, a lot of animals are reincarnated. I know a lot of people don't think. Oh, yeah. I believe in that, but they have so... They, besides watching us, they have so many characteristics that are similar to us. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, God, right now, don't bring me back as a little damn monkey. Don't do it. I would be, don't do I would it. be pissed if I came back as a roach. Ooh! <laughs> a little cockroach. <laughs> Boy, don't, don't make me no kind of bug. Right. Like, like they no kind of bug. I mean... Maybe a ladybug. And I don't want to be a butterfly because they don't live that long. So. But you know, butterflies, he'll like, that kind of goes into like time. The, and that I'm, time isn't linear and the way that we experience it right. is different mm -hmm. because our lifespan is different. So like yeah. butterfly so, may feel like they're living forever. forever. Right. Yeah, but no. But hold my whole, here's my whole thing. Are, 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 are insects like big enough to house a whole spirit? Like, is that a thing? I don't, I feel I, like there's certain levels of life where it's like, that's just. You know what I mean? Nah, no. no, I feel like this this rose is hitting. Just what if, our, our, what if our whole spiritual entity is like a small little ray of light? I, I mean, the other thing too that you have to consider is that you can't really measure like what a spirit. Or, I mean, it's it's energy, so it could be transferred. Yeah, and it could it could fit pretty much any form. I mean, I would have guessed, you know, yeah. it it could fit any form. I don't know. <laughs> and then I also feel like this too, like. I don't think that our soul <laughs> is the same soul. Like I feel like we're all like a parts. Road. No, no, it's it's like I feel like once we go back into the earth, however we go back into the earth, then we're we're a collective of multiple like energies that kind of come back into a different form in in mm -hmm. a sense. I can believe that because yeah. I've seen a documentary of a little boy in it wasn't in the U.S. but he remembered a lot of stuff from years ago and mm -hmm. kind of creeped his parents out because mm -hmm. he even took his parents back to where he used to live in his past life. Mm -hmm. Like straight, he, he remembered everything. I remember seeing something like that too. And the other thing I think about from the science documentary that I watched, I think it's called The Theory of Big Bang or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But they were talking about the birth of a star and just comparing that to humans and how mm -hmm. we're a chromosome or so away from like we're, like we possess stardust and mm -hmm. we're all we're all stardust in a sense we're all made up of the same shit right mm -hmm. so that makes me think about it because stardust has existed for billions of years millions of years however long and we're just in a different form of that stardust so we have always existed in some form in this earth on this universe somewhere mm. we've just been recycled and reincarnated into some other shit and now we're just this form of stardust in, in my other words you used to be garbage but now you garbage it Yep. Reality. Garbage. Period. <laughs> and we're still not even like, I like, and at the end of the day, like, we're still garbage, right? Because when you. <laughs> still garbage. <laughs> you still ain't shit. No matter what. When you do math, we're literally this big. The universe is like, who the fuck, what the fuck is that? Nobody cares about that shit. Like, when you zoom out of the universe, we're so minute. Just zoom out of, like, the United States. And then see how little the United States is yeah. compared to other continents. Compared to yeah. And then look how small like the Earth is compared yeah. to other planets. And then this little solar system, this little bitty thing, and then zoom out some more. And, and there's so many galaxies and right. solar systems. And like, then it's just like, and then we'd be worried about a phone bill. A fucking phone bill. <laughs> like I mean, like we are not so living our eyes form. No, this is how I we know, are not. Like. Bro, we're so much bigger than this, and we worrying about a motherfucking phone bill every month. Bullshit. Every thirty days. Bullshit. Oh, I feel like we living this life right now. Oh, pay for everything. Right. I feel like my Food. compared to my car note, uh, my phone bill isn't much. Yeah, but true. that car. Mm -mm. But here's my thing though. Why like, don't we fly? Like, what? What are we waiting on? What the? F 
this alcohol. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> imagine me behind the wheel after this. You're not going in the air. Like, that nigga job I mean, is flying again. I'm not. First of all, I'm definitely going in the air. Like, <laughs> that's the first place I'm going is in the fucking air. As high as I can because I'm drunk and irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go a little higher so I can't hit nobody. <laughs> Imagine fall asleep behind the wheel and wake up and the earth is just <laughs> just hurling at you like oh see how many times you hit that ignition but oh Jesus I'm not fucking got no parachute in the right we gotta wait for evolution to kick right so we, can, we can grow wings right no that's not that's, that's not where okay. my mind went when no we legit well okay I was kind of thinking somebody would create a potion and we drink it mm-hmm. and we like have flying okay. time. Oh, that would be that would be something they would keep away from us. It'd be just white people doing it first. It would. I think <laughs> it would just be like, yeah, I was gonna people. say, I military would. Military yeah, it would be. A, it would be a military secret until yeah, like first, they yeah. feel like Area Fifty One. Yeah, mm-hmm. capitalism was like, well, we can sell it to rich, people. rich people. Yeah, because they don't. Because you know why they would never let all of us fly. Is because way gas too much power. We all thought the only way prices. to activate it was to fart. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I don't really go nowhere. Like I fart, but I don't fart like that. Yes. <laughs> crying you guys okay, i don't know if you can see this okay, i think the <laughs> imagery like if you visualize it it makes it 10 times and then can you imagine somebody trying to push the fart out like you're just over there in the corner like come on fart. so what happens if you shit yourself like <laughs> then i guess you go on extra i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you got it off cause... <laughs> i got that nitro <laughs> <nigga. laughs> wow. so the only downside is it gives you <laughs> diarrhea <laughs> I did not know this was going to be like this. That's childish. Back, back on topic. Sorry. We we went from current events <laughs> to shit. To shit rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Flying shit. Imagine the Literally. imagine the carbon footprint off of that Whoa. shit. Like Godly. Yeah. You okay? I would love to see that though. Yeah, I just have overactive cheer ducts. It's fine, guys. Flying shit potions. <laughs> Right. First of all, somebody that is poor and um, super smart should create that to get back at the rich people. Uh huh. Just so that, well, then no, because then they're going to be shitting on our heads. You know what I mean? I feel like the air would just be polluted. Yeah, no. even, like, even more so. Because, because yeah. imagine, like, you walk yeah, up I to need your house and it just smells like ass. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm low on gas. Let me go to the ranger real quick to get that four for four. You know, I'm always shooting. Ah! Like that. <laughs> like, I ain't never, I ain't been late there. Then no, I start my day with a four for four. Those yeah. who go to Taco Bell. Ooh. Everyone Ooh. who is lactose intolerant. Wow. Boy, lactose Boy. intolerant. You can't Listen. keep milk on the shelf. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, just look at it. I just need to look at milk and I already got to go. Like, but look. I got to look at something that even looks like milk. Look. Like, uh, <laughs> we got I'm, milk. You ever go to the bathroom after milk and just be embarrassed about yourself like this is a damn shame <laughs> i knew better than this i knew i did it anyway i didn't yeah. talk about myself yeah i'm like this is a damn shame like, grown ass all right mm-hmm. all right, all right. <laughs> we okay. have to move on oh, okay. next segment we next should segment. time ourselves we should we are at um 23 minutes. Right, good. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. We're doing so good. Far. We're doing great. All right. So next is love, sex, relationships. Just right off the top. What off you got? Off the top of the dome. What you got? So Maya oh, Fudge with the sex talk. Let's go. Hey, why me? Because oh. you're leading this. What you guys don't know is we had an initial, initial, <laughs> initial um, conversation. conversation where we just went audio, testing the audio. And, um, her first question was a doozy. Uh, <laughs> no point. She came straight at it like it was in. Rachel, you were were you here for that? Rachel wasn't, she wasn't here. here for the first. Time. Rachel wasn't <laughs> here. She hit it with the. Uh, what was your worst sexual experience? 
We're not gonna do that in front of y'all right now. We don't know y'all like that. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get a couple of subscribers. Y'all gotta y'all gotta come mess with us real heavy. Yeah. Do we have anyone looking at our shit right now? No. Is there still nobody? Oh. We got four viewers. We got four oh, viewers. Okay. Hey. Hey. One of them What's being me. Okay, so we got three, three. viewers. We got three no, viewers. we're gonna still count you. Know? Okay. Penny matters. <clears throat> Henny, Henny, Henny matters. matters. That should be a shirt, nigga. Henny matters. Henny matters. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Don't steal that. Don't steal that. Don't steal that. Trademarking it right we, now. You, it's market. been recorded and therefore it has been copyrighted. And not to throw race in there, but he's Asian, so you shouldn't fuck with Asian people because like they be on their shit. That's like the stereotype is that Asian people be on their shit. And that's Henny what? is in IT. So yeah. So that's, that's why so we're recording in my shit. house. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally. We why. use all the stereotypes to our advantage. To all of us, yes, <laughs> actually, we did. We, did. we really did. We did. Love and sex and relationships. I'm, 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 Hold on, another Thank stereotype. Um, <laughs> Rachel is half uh, Native American. Alcohol. Y'all take that. Is <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my family suffers from alcoholism, and it is not a joke, and that is very true. Sorry, mom, if you're. Just, uh, we but have, you know yourself. We got we got some people in the chat. We have What's up, Ebony Clark says, "Hey, hey, 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 hey Ebony hey. Clark, hey. What's What's up, Ebony? you definitely want to come out to Swanye Open Mic. Yes, yes, come through. We have Emmy Grammy nominated 2021 mm -hmm. Grammy nominated Queen Sheba. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we have the Buffalo Kings in the yeah. building. So if you tuning in with us right now, you definitely want to tell everybody mm -hmm. next Saturday mm -hmm. is the place to tell be. Tell a friend and make sure you tell us. And we got VIP. So if you want to be up close, Ooh, special now, treatment. You know what I'm saying? Mixmaker is making special drinks for those VIPs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'll also let you know, let you all know about another message <clears throat> from Sissa Burnett. Okay. Okay, your, boo. Your mom and brothers are watching. <laughs> <laughs> so whose sissy is that? Anyway, that's I'm my that's Okay, that's your people. That's your people. Yeah. <laughs> right as I was like, yes, we suffer from alcoholism. It's very true. Y'all know yourselves. Mm. We ain't gonna lie. I mean, I feel like a lot. I'm of I'm still kicking it because that I thought that was um I knew that was something that like I was gonna have, especially in college, like. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I would drink all the time. So like I now only really drink when I see y'all. Okay. Oh. What's well, dope? Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get there. I got a brother that uh oh shit. Yeah. I put him on front street. I got a brother that uh yeah, that nigga drink. Like, yeah. <laughs> we must be Blackfoot. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> hey, no, everybody's Cherokee. Uh, everybody. <laughs> no, I can't put it in my face. Straight. I my dad said something about that, but I don't I don't know. I feel like all black people like are for sure, if nothing else. Some form of Native yep. American. Yeah. Some sort of indigenousness. Yeah. Every Mexican too. Every Mexican. That. A lot of yeah. Mexicans you indigenous. You I mean technically the Kiowa tribe is you know, uh, their roots are Aztec. So Yeah. Yep. I did a um like Mayan culture is dope. Yeah. I, I love Mayan culture because it's it's like like Mayan, Aztec, the Incas, like all of that mm -hmm. stuff. I studied that like in school and stuff. And they're like these cultures that were really, 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 really like had their stark differences, but at the same time they were like so similar. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they just had their own way of understanding this entire universe. Yeah. Not the world, yeah. not the continent that they were on, not the kingdom, or like they tried to understand this whole universe mm -hmm. it, in ways that when the Europeans came it like baffled them like mm -hmm. you got a calendar better than ours mm -hmm. you understand how these earth the earth and the stars move better than we do mm -hmm. but we're supposed to be the superior ones yeah we gotta kill y'all I mean, <laughs> like straight up y'all gotta go can't nobody else know this like for real like and you know I I, I was uh, listening to a TikToker kind of talk about, um, you know, just spirituality. And uh, one of the points that he was bringing up was that the study of nature and that that's really all it is. Even when you, when you think about anything, um, even science, it's all just the study, study of, of nature. nature. 
and that's all that spirituality is because once you study nature you learn about yourself you learn mm. about the world around you you're mm. connected with the things around you mm. mm-hmm. the more that you are connected to the world around you the the higher you ascend you feel that ascension too you really yeah. feel you know like you want to go hug a fucking tree because but i think like there's some people who study it <clears throat> you got to study it with the right heart though yeah. yeah there are people who study it in order to learn how to like really extract the worth and yeah. the value and put it into some synthetic system capitalism as you grow to learn me you'll learn that i am not a proponent of capitalism, of capitalism at all actually. yeah but you know hit me in the inbox and see what kind of conversations we can have um hey mom and brothers actually we have been procrastinating Yes, yeah. we need to get to the sex but and love and romance. I, it gave me time to think about a topic. Okay, let's go. So I was watching um, an interview. I forgot the artist's name, but it was with Angeline. Mm-hmm. And she was saying that she recently learned how to orgasm. Yeah. So I guess my question is, because I've seen somebody in the comments saying, you know, you got to stop lying to guys. Mm-hmm. What is that? Sometimes we don't have to lie. But nah, please. Yes. Nah. No, I feel like because, in my opinion, okay. um, you all have pride. And but everybody does, though. That's not fair. But they want to hurt your manhood type of yeah. thing. It's so a little really different, lie. like, telling a man, like, that wasn't all that. Like, yeah. a man that's not prepared to hear that, that thinks he's that. Versus, like, you could tell a woman and she'll be like, oh, okay. okay. Like, she'll, like she'll, she'll, she'll be more than likely prepared to adjust because... Women are just like we want we want to please you. So that's like tell me if Yeah. So I guess my question is have you lied about anything during sex? Yes. And how would you as an adult knowing change that? I've uh I've lied about orgasm before. I've lied about it. Okay, so why would you lie? Because I was bored. (laughs) (laughs) Straight bored. Like some women are a little too submissive. Mm-hmm. Just Wait, how did you lie though? Like you just pretended yeah. that you you, mm-hmm. you were wearing a condom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so that's interesting because I thought about that, mm-hmm. and I can tell when somebody comes I, or not. So I just I made up a thousand excuses, you know, like oh I already self helped earlier, so you know there's not really a lot in there. So <laughs> yeah, I really I really. It's that type of show, people. Um, <laughs> so hey, I really mom, like, but hey, I, <laughs> hey y'all, sorry. But, but no, for real, for real, I really definitely sat back and was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know how to not be doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. So, so was it going for a long time? It was yeah, like normal stuff, but it was just like I was. Um, you ever have? Um, <laughs> you ever have rut sex like like when you're stuck in a rut and you're kind of just having the same motions you're going through the same motions like, like boring sex boring sex yeah. mm-hmm. and it was just like <sighs> try to introduce something new and they're like what are you doing mm-hmm. and you're like okay I don't want to do this like so I just yeah. Just. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just kind of let. Just kind of. <laughs> Richard's just like, yeah, I'm with you, but I'm not with you. Yeah. 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 Like, you know what I mean? Like, because I think women think, all women actually think, that their vagina is great. Because so many men are so thirsty, they'll tell you anything is good. Mm-hmm. Even when you're starving, anything tastes good. Mm-hmm. Right. So dudes run around here starving and then they tell y'all it's great it's great it's great it's great you don't gotta do nothing don't change nothing just Mm -hmm. look like you look and let me do it (laughs) and then it'd be like if you meet somebody who actually has some sort of emotional iq sexual iq then they get with you and you're like and you know because you know sex doesn't just happen like like a lot of people like you to think like yeah there's a build-up to it and i also think our vagina changes like throughout even just the month and i only know this because like with my, uh, someone that I was dealing with in the past, like he would tell me like it's different versus, like he could tell whether I had eaten good or hadn't, like, mm-hmm. because he was like, it's different when I'm full versus when I'm not. It's different versus like when I'm emotional and sad like and when I'm not. Right. right. Like, so I, but I feel like that's for <clears throat> men and women. Yeah. Let me personal. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you love taste, if you love getting a little taste. 
taste goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your body. You can That's tell, how you can tell she yeah. posted that. Goddamn. <laughs> you can just taste the difference. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's like if he goes down on you, you can, you can taste the difference if you're drinking more water or yeah. if you're drinking tea all the time or oh, alcohol. Baby, some more like it was like it came a point where he was like, no, you need to eat before. Yeah. And I was like, but I feel fat and lazy and like I can't move then. Because like I would have, I would be stuffed and people be like, cool. I mean, that was Okay, fucking weirdo. <laughs> I don't know, I was, but I was with it because like I don't have to move. But also, so, I mean, even wanted, without that. <laughs> he wanted you to get some nutrients in before you got that cardio work. What I mean, I, I wasn't was doing part- any cardio. Oh. I was just a fat chicken. No. Literally, like, but even outside of that, uh, the, I mean, the more like she's turned on, the yeah. the, vagi- the vagina changes. Yeah, so. but and the same, more but that comes with a relationship, though, for uh, most of y'all, isn't it? No. Mm-mm. Oh shit. If oh, even uh, say, <laughs> for example, even on a one night stand, if there's a lot of foreplay going and yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. like that, that whole turns night. her on. Yeah. And uh, I feel like a guy, a lot of guys, kind of feel like that. Do we have any people asking questions? Nope. No. Okay. Wait. You should ask questions so we can answer. <laughs> okay, I want to ask questions. Okay, okay. ladies. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have exposed my hat, my hand, mm-hmm. and let y'all know that I've. Um, <clears throat> if you're gonna ask, yes, I have lied. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> didn't even let me. I guess I just feel like that's where it was going. Okay. No. 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 I, I, let me. Let me. Let me. No. Oh, the ante though. Okay. All right. So now knowing what you know now, mm-hmm. would you have lied? Still, would you like dealing with somebody now um, in the age that you're at, understanding your body, and then you're like, you're I with think, this person? I think truth comes with maturity. Okay. Like back then, right. especially like starting off in your teenage years and stuff like that, it's mm-hmm. just like, oh, you're trying to get it whenever you can get it or whatever. Lord. But as an adult, especially if you see yourself with somebody long term. And it's nothing really wrong with them as far as like when a relationship oh, yeah. goes. You gotta work. I would say don't lie. <laughs> Good luck. Like, especially if you want to be with them long term, if you keep lying, right. your sex life is gonna be tr- garbage. Yeah, okay. it's gonna be trash. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. <clears throat> we gonna we gonna get heavy. We gonna, oh, get, heavy. Okay. We gonna get heavy. You like yeah. I said that right there. <laughs> so check it out. So a lot of times women. I'll always say they will say things like this you know like when you're talking about because the point I'm trying to get to is that when you're not satisfied you'll end up seeking seeking, seeking. somewhere else mm-hmm. right and I'm gonna ask you to this I can't ask everybody in the world but I can ask you to maybe you guys can represent some sort of mm-hmm. segment of society have you ever cheated just for the sex like, I know women are like, no, I cheated because it was an emotional thing and I needed, and was it ever just like, yo, if you ever stepped out, or not even stepped out, or you just, or if you ever just, I'll, I'll the laughter, I, or have you, okay, Henny, Henny, Henny. I'll start this off right here and say yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Like, well, you're a dude, and I, I hate to be stereotypical, but yeah, we're a little bit more honest with ourselves about that. But ladies are like, no, it wasn't just like this. So I I'm not gonna say cheated because technically no I didn't cheat. Or, or we you were broken up. Okay. Right, but we were. <laughs> anyway, that's not my business. But anyway, um, I did have I have had relationships where it was just sex, or I did have sex with mm-hmm. just sex. Well, you know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah. <laughs> These drinks is kicking the ass. Let me let you know. I, 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 I have just for sex. Yes, I have, I have. Uh, and I've done that um, a couple times. Okay. Um, yeah, and there was, I mean, it wasn't a secret. He knew, mm-hmm. I knew. The guy I was dealing the with at the time knew what it was. So, and it was there. so. So you're saying that the primary thing about that. Yep. Interaction with mm-hmm. the sex. sex. Yep. And honestly, because I, I had a conversation with somebody about this before. Right. But I feel like a lot of guys don't understand the concept of 
if you be honest up front, yes, you can actually get what you want. Yeah. But once you start lying, it's kind, it's it's just like yo, yeah. you're not trustworthy. So yeah. you're not worth the hassle. Yeah, yeah like you could literally honest. like as a guy, if you want to fuck with multiple bitches, like you can say that. You can mm-hmm. say I want to fuck with you, and it gives her the option to yeah. choose if she wants to fuck with that same energy or not. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm definitely like I say, be in the same <clears throat> position as Rachel. Right. It's just sex, and we can we can remove those emotions if we choose. Mm-hmm. If that's what you know, if that's yeah. what we're going in for. Yeah. Rachel yeah. is a beautiful host. So let me tell you something. <laughs> Thank you. She ain't she ain't letting nobody. She ain't gotta worry about me because I got two cups. Yes. <clears throat> but she is making sure everybody <laughs> is topped all the way off. Listen, we're you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tombstone like, Pro in the back, link back. You yeah. can't see them like we can see them. <laughs> they should have like you know, Dallas, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But they are on the... Man, yo, man, I really appreciate y'all. Let me just say that. Yo. Yes. Y'all are the truth. They are going to be at Swanye Open Mic, too. Oh, so if you want to get Swanye. seen on cam, you, you are going to want to be in the building, man. Yeah. We might even go live mm-hmm. on y'all. Ass. I hope so. That would be lit. Click that might go live on y'all ass just so y'all can see how we, 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 you know what I'm saying, host a whole show. Like, the, we are here kicking it, we are here loose, but when we put a show together, man, it is the truth, man. We are, we, we run a tight ship. Yes. We run a tight ship. What's our time? So definitely come out. 40 minutes. 40 okay. minutes. We're, good. Good. we're on, we're good. on it, so we're we can good. be switching topics now, I guess. Okay, so What's Rachel, <coughs> what you huh? got? What's the next topic? What's the next topic? All right, so the next topic is just quick topics. Boom. Um, Boom. And bow, bow. so I just Googled some shit, right? Okay. And we're just going to go down the list and we're going to spend maybe like five minutes on each topic. Okay. Quick okay. topics. Okay. Right. Quick topics. Run it, gun. <coughs> Run it, gun. <coughs> Let me find my. Two minute trails. <laughs> <laughs> As football players. All right, let's see. You like you're a football player, isn't it? You was a football player. I knew Kigo was a football player. Yes. I, was a, I was a lineman, wasn't it? See, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. D-Lyman D- in the building. D-Lyman. 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 You don't say that defensive. You know what I'm saying? On the line. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is How good was your jump? Look, that's not what... <laughs> 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 you know, I'm sorry, it was your garage jumps. Yes. <laughs> really good. Really good. Did you run? Not, <laughs> not very fast. How the, hard the, did you hit? That's what matters. Pretty, pretty hard. Okay. Pretty that's hard. Right. Question Look, you run, you run, you run like a 5-2. Back. Yes. You run like a 5-2. <laughs> the minute they say <laughs> height, five, they four, got .5 five seconds and it's physical. On a scale of 1 to 5, how hard was your hit? On a scale of what? 1 to 5. Did you like throw your body? It depends on like... How well I was set up to make that. Mm. See, see that? See that IQ? See that IQ? Y'all didn't hear him. She asked, yeah. "How hard did he hit on a scale of one to five? And he said, "It depends on how I was lined up to execute the play." I mean, he it, understood the assignment. You know what I, mean? I took a life lesson from that. I didn't, you know, I still don't know shit about, but life lesson for sure. Set up, set up yourself. You set know? your shit yeah, up. Set it okay, up. so just my like mind went okay. back to what okay. we were talking about earlier about sexualizing it, and I was just like, <laughs> 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 that's what I thought she was talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> He's like, I, don't, I thought you, that's what we was talking about. The whole time. <laughs> I thought we was there. Okay, All right, so the first one, I'm gonna ask. Uh, we'll start with Jive, I guess. Let's go. What is your favorite thing about your personality? Hold on. Before you answer that, let me start my timer. Okay. Give me a second. I got five minutes. All right. Uh, I guess we all got five minutes. All five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to chime go, in. Go, go, go. Five minutes started. Start with Jive. Oh, my favorite thing about myself is um, I'm, I like to think I'm inquisitive. I like to think I ask a bunch of questions. Mm-hmm. I like to think that. Like I, mm-hmm. I come across as like, like I know everything, but I ask myself a thousand questions every freaking 15 minutes, and I punish <laughs> anybody on the phone with me mm. because I'm about to hit you with like a thousand weird He does ask questions. a lot of questions but yeah. I appreciate that because you know that's how you know someone's listening mm-hmm. and someone values your opinion right. they ask questions I do that I'll, I'll go on a whole rant and go but what do you think yeah <laughs> and I need to know yeah. like and it matters I yeah. don't care if you disagree I need you to say yeah. something because mm-hmm. yeah what about so, you Mai so for me I would say I always search to be better Mm-hmm. Than I was the next day, or you know, the previous day, or the week before. Okay, that um, growth. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with that. Shoot, I feel like that's very important. I like that about myself too. 
but I think my overall favorite thing about myself is my <clears throat> like I just want to have a good time mm-hmm. and laugh. Mm-hmm. It it's actually kind of fucked up sometimes to laugh at the wrong moment. You know, <laughs> shit that's not supposed to be funny. Is but it'd be funny though. <laughs> 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 Like that Uncle Rucker shit y'all sent me. Mm. Bro, next <laughs> show, hilarious. we are going to show y'all this whole, like, poontastic. <laughs> I want niggas to get locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see niggas and rappers and rappers and niggas. And niggas and rappers and rappers and niggas. And niggas, and rappers and rappers and niggas. And like, it's like, it's okay. It's okay. I think he also said something like he didn't want to live around niggas. He was like, no, what the fuck? Why would I live around niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Black is ace of spades. <laughs> Like a nigga, like if you want to be around and him, his like, accent was non-literate. <laughs> <laughs> like a nigga deep in the trenches, right? <laughs> Don't want to be you around. Know, I'm happy to see them niggas get locked up. You ain't never seen a nigga get locked up. Like, I, see nigga get locked up. I can't wait to see a nigga get locked up. Literally, I was like, literally, like, wow, it's it's funny. It's it was just hilarious. Well, next, next, when we uh, start uploading content, so y'all can see what we see when we yes. see. We gonna put y'all. We we'll gonna put y'all to the test. Some of the group chats. I like what he said too about the um. What is it? What is it called? The new nick. What is white niggas? The white niggas. Nigga. Not allowed to say it. So. Oh, yeah, he's oh. The, <laughs> sorry. Yo, uh, our <laughs> oh production <my> team uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> understands the code. He was like, um. Uh, first of all, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Look, you ask him a question, and you black, but he turned red. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Ruby. Ruby, what's happening? Ruby, what are you doing? You headed yeah. to a sneaky link. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You about to break bad? What are you doing? Sneaky link. Sneaky link. Sneaky link for the win. It's about to be a happy Father's Day one way or the other. That's what. Somebody go talk to Daddy. You understand? I feel it. My man Pretty got the girl. with the shades with the shades Ooh. on. Yeah, it's still a Question, <laughs> real quick. This has nothing to do with the topic, but have you guys put shoes on while you were um, having sex with somebody for like more grip? Because that person that happened to me, I thought that was weird as shit. Oh, I'm gonna lie. Uh-uh. I did because I'm short. And you're oh, <laughs> you need an extra edge up the room. Nah, you need some heels. No, no, it wasn't even heels. It was, it was Crocs. <laughs> No okay. matter what, I mean, like the chameleon. Like when right. drive, when drive asked me, like if you, if I wanted to, like do this podcast and then set up in my house, it really was just like, all right, yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. He literally said he like he had no. Listen, when I asked him, I was like, whoa, who is this guy? Oh. Why is he okay with us just coming into his? And car? I really, like, to be one hundred percent honest, we're not like the deepest friends. I didn't know yeah. him for like years and years. I met him like a couple other times. We went, we, there we was were sh- at the 912 studio. We were at the 912 studios. Mm-hmm. We was actually, we talked about this at the Soul Tribe Festival. We did. So, oh, <laughs> I was I was off with a good couple shots of tequila. So. Oh yeah, twist, <laughs> he was twist, over there at the Soul Tribe Festival with a bottle. Like, And I mean like, I don't mean like a fifth. I mean like that jug, that a half gallon like, of 1800. It. I missed that. And he was just passing out shots. And we was having a, a ball. We should definitely have them as our we possible do. first guest. You want to do Soul Child as our first Soul Child? Because they're a whole the whole vibe. vibe. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. literally oh, in I my agree. car yesterday. And I, was just like, I haven't seen them all together, but individually. They're they do right. have their own podcast. The yeah. The yeah, they do. They do. Um, but I was just in my car. I was just two like, men. So try vibes. <laughs> they are like yo. They, and they are. tracks be like low. Yo, look. Yeah. They tracks be off the chain. Like they got some refreshing, some refreshing shit. Yeah. Like 
it don't sound like everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Libby. I love uh, Celine. Mm -hmm. Tim with a Y. Tim with a Y is like my favorite. I, I love them all. But Tim with a Y, like, yo, he he is the envelope pusher. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, he is going to make sure, like, that energy is going to. It's felt. It's felt. Like, he. I've never put that cat on stage and, like, been upset at mm -hmm. what he did. Like, like and his he, style is so person. different. Even no. what he wears is different. Like he's the reason why Very we upgraded our man. um our audio. Like, mm -hmm. cause I was like, yo, his vibe. We can't do that with just two mm -hmm. uh, set of speakers. We got to get more speakers because mm -hmm. a vibe like that, you got to be able to hear them vocals. You got to be able to hear that music. You can't mm -hmm. like that vibe was <coughs> was just amazing. And to Benji, to Benji, I've been knowing for a minute, 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 minute. So back in you know. Um, word way of real discovery days like yo so i've been knowing kid for a minute we gotta put him on too man because he's been he's been in the lineup for a minute you're gonna see a lot of cats you know what i'm yes, saying yes. one way or the other fucking with us <clears throat> we also have click fest coming up soon we're gonna be putting together something special outdoors yeah. so we can have like we're gonna click up with some of the dopest movements in and around Savannah so you can actually see what we do. I'm super here. excited about this. I'm really excited about getting to know our local artists on a different level. Right. And, um, you know, just, just for me personally, I would... I think that would just be dope. Like, it's, I don't know if there are other platforms. I'm sure there are other platforms yeah. that, like, you know, offer that or whatever. But I don't know. I just feel like because we're friends in a sense like there are peers it just right. feels so we can have special. a real yeah, conversation like, it's not interviewee interviewee it just no, like, kind we, of like a vibe mm -hmm. I especially love that. when we drunk we're gonna be yeah. drinking so that's it's gonna be that is true so i'll be responsible for that guys so, <laughs> so drive uh, responsibly just so, to put that out there period drive sober or get pulled over yes period get our ticket as well yeah that part period. right there they ain't playing mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost thought I was going to get pulled over on the way from Walmart. And I was like, oh my God, bitch. Because I was talking to my best friend and I was thinking like, I told her, I was like, oh, I thought I was going to get pulled over. But really what I was thinking was like, are you going to keep driving? Because you have open highway right now. Right. Like, like you know what I mean? Like I could have like, you know, but. Let me tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a really quick story. I was driving home from work. It was eight o'clock at night. And it was like, just getting next sunset. Like just getting to the part where like, you know, where you're like, you're your depth perception is fucked up a little bit mm -hmm. and i saw this car zooming through traffic i saw him behind me and he just zoomed right ahead of me right and i'm on i'm on 16 about to burst 95 but i'm a little bit back and then i'm like whoa my dude was passing me back out like i was sitting down about 20 seconds later you hear you see a cop coming and you hear Woo, and he's weaving doing the same thing mm -hmm. and i'm like oh but he's gaining ground on me <clears throat> and i was like oh man he about to catch dude well, you know when you about to get off on seven, you get off on um, ninety five uh, or sixteen to go to ninety five South, right? Mm -hmm. And we know once you hit that bridge, you can come right back down and come back and go sixteen okay. East. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker like weave through traffic, <coughs> hit that motherfucker. I, he hit that thing going about eighty five. Hit that mm -hmm. off ramp. I swear to God, look, he Tokyo Drift that motherfucker thing, and that police car <laughs> lost sight of him and kept going down 16. Mm. Oh. See, See, and that's that his first time. And that's, and that's, that's what I was thinking, because they're not going to go, like, they're not going to do the most, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they're going to do, but like, as much as they can, but they're also, like, mm. He sped past me, and then <clears> as he sped past me, I'm still going, like, normally with traffic. I see that dude. I watched him go up that ramp and come right back down and fly mm -hmm. right back. I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. ooh, 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 ooh. That, that, that was cold. That was. Yeah. I wish That's I not his first time. I wish I knew yeah. road, like I wish I knew highways well enough to do shit like that. Cause I would turn around and like run into some more police. Cause I'm a fucking dumbass. And like, <laughs> like, <laughs> they just be like, ah, gotcha, bitch. And, All right, next question. Let's go. All right, next question. I like this one. What gives you goosebumps? Ooh. Ooh. Last question. Huh? Last question. Last question. Okay. What gives you goosebumps? Um, mm. what gives me goosebumps is mm -hmm. uh, nice melodies and music. Oh, yeah. Good stuff like that. Like, creepy it's, goosebumps. Good, good, good. Just goosebumps. Goosebumps. Okay. Anything that makes you like, 
for me when somebody keeps on me. Ugh. That's why I say you can't like if you come in to strangle me, you better come make it serious because <laughs> right? like that first like that auto erotic asphyxiation. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I really am like uh oh. oh, right. when somebody laughter. touch my neck it, I, t- mm-hmm. I lock up like mm-hmm. oh my god. Okay, so yeah. of course I gotta have a story with mine. So this sh- this shit first happened to me when I was like nine, ten years old in the weirdest place. I was in church, and um, I remember there was, this, there was this twenty something year old lady, and all her and all her you know genuineness. She wasn't. We were having like one of those potluck sort of things after church, mm-hmm. and she had one of those long ass ghetto fingernails, and she said. Let me help you with your play. What you want, baby? And she ran her fingernail across my spine. <laughs> lost my nine-year-old shit. <laughs> and since then, you run your fingers across my spine and all the hair on my body stand up. That is I feel like that's my wife. Like, he loves kiss my back as well. Ooh. Oh, my God. Mine is like the... It's, it's, it, it, it's the neck, too. It's definitely the neck. But for sure, every time, like, off-rip, my inner thigh like if you if you touch it anything like it's like ah! like my whole body is broken and i'm just like retarded <laughs> okay uh, what's the bad goose bumps then let's have the bad goose bump hey, what are you doing i think when i smell something like horrendous it don't give me goosebumps it should make my it's like Ooh. you ever you ever feel like that feeling when something bad is happening and your body heats up and your mm-hmm. pores open and you can feel your pores open up on your face. It's like that also gives me goosebumps and so bad smells give me that feeling that give me goosebumps. Mm. 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 I know spiders. I, mm, I changed my name. I changed my mind. <laughs> roaches. roaches. When I see too many roaches, <clears throat> oh my God. Any roach. I'm the big <sighs> roach specifically. If it's Ooh, the the pulse pulse bugs. When I was there younger, water bug. There when I was younger, I had a a, a roach in my back, and I'm sorry. during that time, it was like uh, the Harlem Shake was really really <laughs> popular. Not the New Age Harlem yeah. Shake, but the old Harlem Shake. And I tried so fucking hard to get that shit off. <laughs> oh, no, I did that. Listen. I was in Houston. I went to Houston with my best friend and my uh, my roommate at the time in college, and we had like we were fucked up and fell asleep. Woke up the next morning and I was I don't know I felt something on my back and I saw something from the corner of my eye, and I took off my clothes like and I was running around this house with my titties out. Flat, like because I thought a roach was on me, it was literally just a big ass lint ball that was stuck to a piece of string. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, ah! and I kept all of my clothes, titty flap. My best friend's like, what the fuck is going on? And, and they're all trying to help me. They're beating me, trying to get the roach off me. It's a fucking lint ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, okay. Wow. I did the same thing with like my rack. Because in Iraq they have like they have you know um, I would not survive in Iraq. They have these things. Um, <clears throat> they're called camel spiders, right? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something about spiders and ants and things like that. Like the spiders move faster than the the ants move faster than spiders in America. So yeah. imagine how fast the spiders move. And I fucked around and thought that a spider went down my shirt in the middle of Iraq, like. Two o'clock in the afternoon, <clears throat> I completely undressed in front of everybody, <laughs> down to my drawers in the middle of Iraq, <laughs> screaming at the top of my lungs, like I could have swore. And I'm, I'm <laughs> and everybody's like, "What the hell?" I and I snatched off my. Boots. They probably thought you was on that shit, right? Look, I snatched off those work. I snatched off them combat boots, laced. Baby, <laughs> touch <laughs> This shit was still in a oh, knot. Like, a whole fucking ankle right, line. look, I didn't give a. I took everything off, and my black ass was looking like I was from there. Like I had nothing on but the military drawers they gave you, and I'm flapping out all my clothes, and no spider ever came out. So I just looked like I was insane. They was like, "There ain't no spider." I was like, "Bro." No, I would have had a plate off. I would be like, "There it goes." I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Okay. One minute. One minute remaining. In this segment, is that what we're talking about? 
No, total. We're at an hour. We're at an hour? Ooh. Oh, wow. Good time. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like that should be like the structure of the show. You want to do it's that? It's fast. Okay. But it, it kind of like keeps us, you know. We need to stay on track. Also, yeah. so I think we can go a little bit over. I want to play with something a little bit. Let's go in like a little deeper. Let's go in a little deeper. Can our producers go a little longer? Can you go a little longer? How much time do y'all have? What's a little longer? Yes, sure, cool. 15 mm-hmm. minutes. Yeah. yeah 15, fine. 20 minutes? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, yes. yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to get into <laughs> a segment that I like. We're going to talk about some social issue stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're going to dig, we're going to dig, we're going to dig. Yes. So I'll be talking to all of y'all, mm-hmm. like, separately about some social issues and stuff. Well, I guess for the first little rehearsal so we can really start picking some brains, we gonna go in. We might even come back to this when we are like super live. Mm-hmm. But we gonna talk about your boy. Just Who passed. Your boy? Mr. Kevin Samuels. Let's talk about Mr. Kevin mm-hmm. Samuels. <laughs> you ain't got to go nowhere. <laughs> you ain't got to go <laughs> nowhere. Go nowhere. Play. Get me fucked up. So, no what is your out. take, Miss Maya, on Mr. Samuels and his legacy in the male movement? Um, okay, so I'm going to speak just in general about how I feel when it comes to... <clears throat> I haven't listened to everything he said, so I'm not going to go off of, like, oh, certain things, but I'm going to just go off of the things that I have heard oh. and you know, his passing or whatever. By him passing, I feel it does not give people on social media the right to just bash somebody. I feel like that is very unhuman. Yeah. Yeah, because regardless to how you felt or how he made you feel, yes that does matter, but mm-hmm. he just passed. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Whatever you say, for one, it's not going to change anything. Right. It's really not. Because right. he's he's dead and gone. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I just feel you should give your respect to anyone who passes away and just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to females not agreeing with what he has said and stuff mm-hmm. like that, for me, and I've even spoke to my boyfriend about this, I feel like a lot of women, and don't bash me, but this is just my opinion, but I just feel like it's a lot of women who sought validation from him Mm. and when you start seeking validation from other people outside of yourself Mm -hmm. yeah that is going to cause a lot of conflict within you yep because you are the main source of your own happiness regardless Mm -hmm. to if they're here or not whatever yeah and you if you from me if you go to him personally and you start asking him questions like um, am I a high value woman or whatever? Mm-hmm. And he disagrees. In his opinion, yeah, that's, that's his, his opinion. opinion. Right. Yeah. And my thing is, even regardless to his own opinion or what he says, don't let that sit within you because yeah. that's somebody <clears throat> else's view. Uh-huh. But what really matters is your view on yourself. Uh-huh. That's my opinion because uh-huh. I'm not going to seek validation from nobody else and I was also taught that yeah you know what I'm saying and okay. regardless to how other people feel I know who I am and whose I am mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah. that just that yeah like I'm just not my thing is and my my mom and my stepdad always tells me a man does not validate you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that I just feel like that should apply to every and single every person, person. Yeah. yeah I agree I I feel uh, multiple ways um I f- definitely relate to how Maya is feeling and, and like her opinion in regards to that. I feel like it is insensitive to just be like, I don't like what he said, so fuck his life and fuck his legacy. Like, come mm-hmm. on, that's crazy, you know. But at the same time, I understand why he was a disliked person, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he also understood why he was a disliked person. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when I watched an interview, he mentioned that he noticed because he had been talking specifically to men for at the beginning of his career Mm -hmm. and wasn't getting the same response that he was getting when he started changing his conversation directly towards women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he acknowledged that there was a difference in his marketing and a difference in his growth in his career Mm -hmm. when he changed the subject from men to women. Mm -hmm. And so a part of me feels like 
just from that knowledge alone, you can only take what he says with a grain of salt because it's not truly coming from a place of like helping. It's more mm-hmm. so coming from a place of like exploiting and seeing like what we can talk about because it's literally the topic of conversation. Women are never gonna, women are never in a in a collective way more than now mm-hmm. are never gonna stop seeking male validation. Like yeah. mm. you know what I mean? That's that's just that's just it's what it is. This yeah. is why Hillary didn't win. They did. They did a study on it, and they were talking about um, the reason why Hillary didn't win. Even though you know you would assume that white women would have voted for Hillary, but they didn't because their hope their husbands weren't. Mm-hmm. And so it still goes back to the psychological idea that you're going to go for whatever your the head of the household is going for because you know maybe they're the breadwinner or maybe they're whatever the case is, and so you assume that they know more about politics or whatever whatever you know whatever reason that is. Mm-hmm. But it shows. Um, also, separately, the dynamic between white women, the difference between white women and black women, because we would that. be like, the fuck? Because we have our We own did mind. say the fuck, and, you know, most white women did not vote for Hillary like you thought they yeah. would have. Mm. It was mainly the black population that, that okay. voted for her, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> which, you know, a whole other conversation within itself. But um, as a, the, the dangerous part that I think about Kevin Samuels was that he brought attention to... Uh, he there was a, a group of men that took pieces of what he was mm-hmm. saying to validate their own existence without mm-hmm. actually becoming a better person. Mm. Yeah. He made it, he made men feel like you can be a, a high value man, quote unquote, mm-hmm. if you just have the money. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. a woman it's who's looking of- for a high value man is only looking for a man with money. Mm. And so that took away the the need for men, specifically black men, because they hear this black man mm-hmm. talking about how you should be and how you should show up as a man and make women respect you and want you and love you as a high value man because of your assets and talked very, very little about who you are as a person. Yes. And I will add on to that <clears throat> as and I'm not necessarily speaking for all women because all women doesn't seek this but mm. to me your money does not mean shit because at this point of time like yes it can add on to what I have and mine can add on but at the same time if you are a crappy person mm-hmm. baby you you ain't nothing yeah you really not nothing to me personally mm-hmm. because I <clears throat> and my nobody taught me this but I was never the person to seek out financial gain from a person Mm -hmm. because if I'm say if I I choose you (coughs) and I'm living with you on a day to day basis I don't want you treating me like shit just because you got money or because you can like that's no that's not it yeah um well we're in a we're in a whole different generation now Um, things have changed a lot and uh, we're being taught a lot of different things in this generation Mm -hmm. Um, women are being taught to be more promiscuous you know a lot of women out there in the world are having OnlyFans and a lot of men also have OnlyFans as well (laughs) we're we're being taught that sex is separated from love Mm -hmm. in that way and so like sex is just a whole thing on its own maybe you do it for money maybe you just do it for the gratification Mm -hmm. maybe you do it for the status Mm -hmm. and um you're you're really just just moving along with it and this is how then this is how the generation looks at it Mm -hmm. i mean so it's very easy to objectify like Mm -hmm. feelings right it happens things that are on both females and females Mm -hmm. everyone is being objectified yes who's showing it more often the men Men are men are objective. men are louder. Women yeah. more, but women don't always show off that they're objectifying men. They'll do it in like. And all but I feel like that's chats. always been the case, though. Yeah, women yeah. have been a little bit more. Uh, always been a little bit more um, sly. And the thing mm-hmm. is, women, you know we know how to objectify ourselves in the right way. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like don't objectify us in the way that we don't objectify ourselves. Mm. Because just because we objectify ourselves for you, because we know that you as a man, that's what you like. You like the right. You like when I dress this way, or act mm-hmm. this way, or talk mm-hmm. this way, or say those things, or do this thing. Right. But like, understand we have a voice. Yeah, take into consideration that we're doing it for you, but we also are. A we whole have person. a voice. Yeah, we, a we, whole we're person. we're smart. We're intelligent. We have thoughts. We have opinions, and it's but like I, okay. <clears throat> so. <laughs> so. I think two things happen, right? It's like to get to um, what you're just saying right now, then to get to Kevin Samuels. 
the problem with the what you guys are saying is once you objectify yourself then people you know especially in capitalism just see you as a product mm -hmm. and products don't get to i mean before you objectify yourself well it depends if you want to make yourself a product because once yeah. you get on only fans you're just selling yourself Th but you, that's you what i'm want, saying so you want to sell yourself you go about the it. so the problem is capitalism doesn't teach you how to personify we know how to objectify we don't know how to personify we don't yeah. know how to put humanity back into somebody yeah we know how to take it out we know how to turn you into a product yeah we know how to sell mm -hmm. you but putting that humanity and that's back why into the worst you, the worst enemy of capitalism is spirituality because that literally teaches you that right so and then so the biggest thing with kevin samuels was everything you guys said about his ability to reach men was accurate mm -hmm. the problem the thing that made him powerful was women right and that's women what, made him powerful because for the first time, men have been having complaints. I'm a man and I've had my complaints. But we <clears> never <throat> had that unifying voice mm -hmm. that women could not pretend they didn't hear. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So like when you heard women having a unifying voice through, you know, the various women that have stood up and said something, we didn't have that unifying voice that said, you know what, I heard you, I validate your experience, and I know how to make these people listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then women women would go onto his show and try to show him up, yeah. right? And try to prove, oh, I can dethrone him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm a better woman. But yeah. what that ended up he doing was, match. <laughs> what ended up doing was it ended up validating him. And yeah. once you validated him, you validated all the you concerns bet everything that, that he, he could was speak saying. at all, right? Yep. So then yep. now all these dudes that never felt heard, yep. You know what I'm saying? Now they like, I yeah, have my see, voice. See, 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 look what happened. Right. <laughs> like what happened with the whole fucking uh, Jordan B, Michael J B. Michael Jordan. Jordan right. see, see, look what happened. Look, look, look. He did everything you bitches wanted. <laughs> 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 Sir. But Straight his up. bitch, his bitch. Right. Maybe it's not what his bitch wanted. But also right. that, I feel like everybody, regardless, needs to take accountability. Because... Everybody in my opinion, things. everybody shows you what or who they are mm -hmm. in the beginning. Yes, that's true. And say if you're a guy that's and you true. keep going for those type of women, your outcome is going to be the same yeah. regardless. And you're bypassing the ones that actually really care about you and don't see you for your money mm -hmm. or what you can do for them. Mm -hmm. You're bypassing those women. Yeah. And you're going for those who are so-called trophy trophies or whatever and then when you have the woman that can evolve because most women can where mm -hmm. you can most women are multi-dimensional where you can be the trophy mm -hmm. it's like men have a hard time accepting that she is also a trophy with intelligence yes. like mm -hmm. i look this way but i look this way literally because this I is how to, i look yeah. and this is how i want to look right but because i look this way you assume that there's nothing here yes. or you don't respect that i have anything here well, and, because, and you see it because mm -hmm. men will be like you might talk about things that you want to do and they're like ah that little uh you know yeah. they'll like downplay your ideas your dreams your this your that and you're like Where's the fucking support? And then when you do something spectacular, it's almost like, mm. like well, yeah. I'll I tell you why. Well, because again, that starts with, I mean, not again, because I didn't say this earlier, but it starts with insecurity. Men have been taught that, you know, the only thing we have to bring to the table is our money, is our ability to earn, is our ability to create wealth and stability. And then here you come to the table like, well, I got an idea and I can create some stability. And it's like, well, that's my bag. So if you are reaching, if you are able to do what I can do, then I'm a, I am in fear that I have to become exactly what you guys said. Now I got to be a better person. Yep. But my thing is, okay, so. You feel, does that make sense though? Mm -hmm. like, it does, but uh, I'm going to take it back a little bit because me and my boyfriend talked about this and so many people are like, oh, I want the traditional woman, yada, yada, yada. But nobody talks about the traditional man. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. And with the traditional man, it's not just about the financial. It's about you helping around with the house as well. You fixing things at uh -huh. the house. Yeah. Changing you, the tire, nigga. Yeah. Exactly. Changing the tire. It's a lot of guys. And also, too, if you're going to be that, like, if you're going to speech about the, tra if you're going to preach about the traditional, you know, yeah. Equal. And, you know, all of this, right? Papa was out there fucking around, but guess what, though? He was changing that motherfucking tire. Right. He if was you gonna fuck changing around, that oil. Change my tire, right? Change my oil. 
fix fixing the fucking, engine. Fix the fix some shit. Well, okay, yes. so now let me tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Cause the poor boy if gonna a, get if, it. But if a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> So the, the, the question that comes to this is, hey, you, you cooking me dinner? Mm, but, here's the, but here's the thing, though. Those women who... And yes. Those women who... Because I don't believe it was a majority of black men doing that. But I do believe there was enough of it happening that we had to deal with that. No, mm. but I, I feel like it was a lot... Well, back I feel like then, that was just a man thing, like, period. Because like, even now, it's 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 not a new concept. Like yeah. men do it all the time now, and mm-hmm. and and they were, it, it was easier because you didn't have social media, you didn't have fucking no. But, phones, as, but, but like, here's the thing: well, for in in history, right? Black people have always been like overworked, underpaid. Mm-hmm. We have more free time now than we've ever had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we kind of look at the '50s and the '60s with. 2020 eyes. They ain't had that kind of time. They, they wasn't on that type of time. Were y'all grandmas married or did they stay with the same man their whole life? Um, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. The- we have 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds. All right. Ooh. See, this is what happens when you're kicking it with us, man. Yes, you want to keep man. going. We get, we get into it. But this I is love just this a rehearsal, man. I know. We're just it digging in. Like real thing. But listen, our rehearsals <laughs> be kind of lit. They so they do. <laughs> That's why we were nervous getting on here because we were like, "Can we, can we be this real? Can right. we say right. this?" And look, and this we wasn't even our, our, this wasn't even our deepest dive. No, like some of the stuff is just on audio. So mm-hmm. once y'all start tuning in, like our page, subscribe, yes. get all the loopers. C L I Q U apostrophe D. Let's get this on Spotify. Period. And we're gonna, our scenery is gonna be changing up. So you might see a little bit of Henny House. You might see a little bit of our events you might see a little bit yeah. of our new place that we're going to be in mm. pretty soon oh, yeah. yeah so stay yes. tuned we got some changes coming up yeah yes. peace out i'm john hey. it's been work. <laughs> working out here on the clicked up show yeah <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> <laughs>